going to fight. There. Uh -huh. There. Excellent victory. Ready to engage. Coming! Annihilation. was certain. Time to 
fight. That victory was certain. Let's begin. Let's begin. Here I come. Excellent victory. All set. Let's go. No backing down. There! <laughs> yeah! I see it! I hope this works! Here I come! <laughs> I'm on your six! <laughs> die! Die! Yeah! Let's begin. Huh. There! I hope this works! Here I come! Victory! Stop resisting! There! Ah. Yeah! Alright! Weak. There. Oh. Yeah. I'm coming. I see it. I know. Here I come. Ah. We won. Thanks to me. Let's begin. There! There! Incoming! <laughs> Weak! Yeah! Yeah! Here I come! We won! Thanks to me! Time to 
to fight. I will continue. I can. My battles. I'm not good. I'm feeling not bad. <laughs> Bout. I'm feeling hard. Yes, of course. Who just leveled up? Naturally. What? I just leveled up. Do this. My battles. Not bad. Bout. <laughs> this, oh, this is good. <laughs> I will continue to be feeling more and feeling more. Yes, of course. Oh, just naturally. I'm Thanks for helping me out. Coming! Weak. There. 
justice wins. <laughs> this feels good. Repairs complete. leveled up this guy Ready to engage. Got it. Ooh, just a skin. Ow! Not bad. Got it. I hope this works. Here I come. Incoming. <laughs> I'm coming. Justice wins. Naturally. I feel way better now.
ready to engage. Huh. Well fought, everyone. Incoming! My, my powers met! My powers maxima! And, and, and surging. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> Damn, I wasn't. <laughs> Follow me. I know. What a fool. I'm on your six. <laughs> There! I'm on your six! Huh. Yeah. Me next. 
<laughs> there! There! Incoming! Stay focused. I wasn't. Huh. Here I come. Huh? There. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Oh, they there. I see it. Huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't waste this. Here. I hope this works. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Stay focused.
stay focused. Na-na! 
Here I come. I see it. Ronum, guide me.
I will continue. My battle skills have... I'm not going to. I'm feeling more articulate. Not bad. <laughs> this feels... <laughs> I leveled up. Bow to me. I'm feeling more articulate. Yes, of course. Who just leveled up? This guy. Naturally. Yes, of course. Naturally. Never felt better. You're pushing yourself too hard. Luca, how much longer are you going to sleep? Wake up! Damn it. Why? I've been infusing you with magical energy for days. What's the problem? Is her magic too powerful? Or is my magic... Wait. My magic... My magic is barely coming out. <laughs> I see. No wonder she still hasn't recovered. <laughs> what have I been doing? <laughs> Madame Dronya? What? What the hell have I been doing? Maybe I really am just a worthless scarecrow. Madame Dronya, I know you don't want to hear this, but you need to rest. You're on the verge of collapsing. If you keep going, you'll endanger your life. My life? <sighs> endanger my life, huh? That's right. I still... I still have my life. Even if it costs me all of my magical energy, I will not be just a worthless scarecrow. I am Dronia. Dusk Witch Dronia. And scarecrow or not, I will keep going, Marietta. As long as I still have a drop of mana in my body, I'm never giving up. Luca! Madam Junior? <laughs> you little dummy. You finally woke up. Clean. I gotta go. 
Don't worry about cleaning. Just rest, Luca. Oh, thank God. I'm so relieved. Luca. Madame Dronia. I'm I'm fine. Just weak. That's all. Thank you, Marietta. I'm sorry for all the trouble. Thank you for your diligence. Do you want to rest now? Yeah. I think I do. I'm exhausted. Just let me lean on your shoulder. Okay. Child, are you awake? This is day seven. 
I guess we couldn't find the other key after all. It's okay, Tracty. I should have known seven days wasn't enough time to find it. So, we just have the one key. What are you doing here, Funa? Just so you know, I dispelled the ward you erected around this town. <sighs> also, I'm pleased to inform you that Baba Yaga's 24 apprentices have finally arrived. And they're just dying to see you again. They have refrained completely surrounded. You have nowhere to run, Jeronia. He went to a lot of trouble to organize this little class reunion. It's not likely to make clips, Jeronia. Are you trying to stall for time while you think of your next move? Well, no matter. I already know that you have a second key. But don't worry. I won't force you to hand it over. You stole Patrone's letter to Baba Yaga. You stole the Tractatus de Monstrum. And as if that wasn't enough, you brazen bitch. You stole Baba Yaga's name, too. But at last, your sins have caught up to you. You have a big mouth for a little rough. Now then, Lady Luca. You may dismiss this Dronia poppet. Thank you for keeping a diligent watch over Dronia. Don't worry about the last key. The witches of Ruler will claim it after we take back the Tractatus they must. As a Pina Poppet who contains the will of Baba Yaga herself, it's no surprise that I would emerge victorious. <laughs> what the... Dronia Poppet? Fiona Poppet? What are you talking about? <laughs> I thought you might say that, Lady Luca. You are so predictable. Tell me, Dronia, do you remember Clow? It felt like destiny when I found out he was here. I mean, what are the odds of running into him again? That aside, he was recently taken by an unclean one. But it might be more accurate to say that he wanted it to take him. I wonder what's going to happen next. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> Governor Patrone. Tronia, is it true that you were pretending to be Baba Yaga? I suppose I'm out of excuses. Yes, that's correct. I'm just Dusk Witch Dronia. I knew it. And is this one of your cohort? <laughs> well, <laughs> I understand. Since we're all being open and honest with each other, I have a question for you, Patrone. Why are you in this town of sinners? So, you've learned that much. Fine. I will ex- Wait outside and secure the area. Station yourself far from the caravan so as not to hear our voices. Looks like we have the place to ourselves. Was learning the true purpose of this town also part of your exploration? How much do you know? I know enough. The town of Refrain is a purgatory where the souls of sinners congregate. Through my dealings with outsiders, I figured out that I'm the soul of a sinner who died more than 100 years ago. Soon after, I began to carefully gather information and document all activity that occurred in this town. At first, I tried to talk about it with others in the town. I even appointed criers to announce death notices every morning. But it was no use. No one remembered. Dronia, do the people of this town look like sinners to you? Of course not. Most of them are good, decent people, but their essence is still sinful. With sinners and good people, is there even a difference? Break the law and you're a sinner. Resist sin and you're a good person. What is sin anyway? I have no interest in discussing this subject. The concept of sin is a human construct. 
Taken to its logical conclusion, every human being is technically a sinner. That's right. Sin is natural. And there is wisdom to be gained from it. But sin itself is a product of the heart. Over time, it rots a person's soul. As an outsider, I don't expect you to understand the suffering that festers in the depths of our soul. The endless days this town perpetuates. The same day for all eternity. But after a while, this purgatory starts to feel almost comforting. It's quite strange, really. <laughs> so what you're telling me is, I'm having a conversation with a dead man. I'm not the only one. Everyone in this town is a dead sinner. Our only salvation is the unclean ones. They roam this city like... Angels of mercy, guiding us into the loving arms of death. Have you ever taken a good look at them? Seen the pity in their eyes? In this purgatory, those creatures are our saviors. It is they who bear the terrible burden of our impure sin. Yes, it didn't take long for me to notice that they had no interest in outsiders like us. Exactly! When the sun sets, the unclean ones appear to relieve us. They're true masters. And for each soul they save, it's as though they never existed here in the first place. Relationships between people can be affected by their surroundings. Wouldn't you agree? No one in this town remembers Maylie, the baker's daughter, except me. I documented her everyday activity, though I'm sure outsiders like you still remember her. And with Maylie's disappearance, Juliet's personality has changed. As far as I'm concerned, Juliet has always been a wicked little slut, but my records prove she wasn't always like that. When a soul disappears, it affects everyone who once had a relationship with them. Sometimes drastically so. So, why did you summon Baba Yaga? Why did you need a witch to explore the labyrinth? <laughs> you assumed her identity without knowing why I summoned her. I don't need to be relieved from this town. On the contrary, I wish to live here forever. But the people who disappear, they vanish without a trace. Like they never existed. It, can you imagine it? the despair of being the only one who knows that these people have been forgotten. No one forced you to keep tabs on this town's residents. If it bothers you so much, just burn all your documents. You must understand, in this purgatory where the same day repeats for eternity, I cannot perform such a drastic action. But even so, I still want to stay here. So you thought the remedy for your problem could be found in the labyrinth beneath Refrain? Yes. I thought the legendary great witch Baba Yaga could help me. I did everything I could to find her. But instead of Baba Yaga, I got you. Petronia, you should know. I absolutely hate you. Liars! My wives were liars. All twelve of them. That's why I had to kill them, you see. That's why I'm here. But it's not like I actually remember my sins. <laughs> Petroni, this conversation has made me realize something. You may understand what's happening around you. But you are completely unaware of how you have changed, too. <laughs> Perhaps you needed Klaus more than he needed you. Klaus? Uh, who? Oh, it doesn't matter. We're through here. To my side, men! Take them into custody and hang them. Don't move, we 
Luca, I'm so glad you're safe. I'm all better now. Madame Cuny healed me. She did, she did. I know. It's good to have you back. Thanks, Dronia. You did a good job treating her. Huh? Is this really the time to be having this conversation? Damn it. Move in, move in. Neldo. Dronia, use my sword. Hey! Do I look like I know how to use this? Don't resist! Drop your weapon! Very well. I'm not strong enough to use this anyway. There's only one weapon light enough for me to wield. Good. Now don't try anything stupid! A knife! You bitch! Who do you think you're messing with? Luca, take Tracti and get out of here. I'll be right behind you. Neldo, take care of Luca. This way, Luca. What? what? Here, this is yours now. Whoa! Here, witch. Why is the sky red? Refrain is shuddering. Why? Because the truth of this town has been revealed. What's going on? Where the hell did that damn witch go? Don't let her get away! It's like they don't even notice this strange phenomenon. Or perhaps only outsiders can see it. <sighs> They're so damn resistant. Search every inch of this town for the witch, the child, and that young man! Don't let them get away! Did I lose them? I still haven't found Luca and Neldo. I hope they managed to escape, but... <sighs> Shit. My vision's getting blurry. <sighs> do, do I have a thief? <laughs> Dronia. Ooh. Dronia's okay, right? Mm. Well, I'll take her to the Abbey. If you run into the soldiers, could you divert them away from the Abbey? Ooh. Uh, okay. Thanks. Hiding out in the Abbey. Just so you know, you have a really bad fever right now. <sighs> Shut up. Where's Luca? Is she okay? She's on her own. What? <sighs> Why are you not with her? I knew I shouldn't have left her with you. Don't get the wrong idea. Luca's the only reason I'm here helping you. Hey. What's your deal with Luca, anyway? Uh. Don't want to answer, huh? Or maybe you can't answer. It's all the same, either way. 
I'm gonna go look for Luca. I'll lock the door in case any soldiers come. Stay put and don't leave. shouldn't have helped Dronia. God damn it! I guess I have no other choice. Luca! Answer if you can hear me! Luca! to you, but I'm glad you're okay. What about Madame Dronia? Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's at the Abbey. Hey! Luca! It's Dronia! Chris? What are you doing out here? How come you're looking for Madame Dronia? Oh, Luca! I was worried because I saw all those soldiers surrounding the caravan. Luca! What? Get off of me! I wasn't the only one looking for you! Plus was too, you know! Since something didn't feel right! The bridge is behind you! Huh? Did it... take him? <laughs> Luca, no! Please, wait! No, it's... it's for the best. You heard what Petrone said, right? He's been set free. It's still too dangerous right now. Let's head for the Abbey once everything calms down. Oh. I can't believe they haven't been caught by an unclean one yet. I mean, what are the odds? I wouldn't be too sure of that. <laughs> oh! Soldier! You talking to me? Just ignore that slut. You could do way better than some homeless beggar. I heard her family's business was almost as big as Governor Petrone's. Till it went under a couple of years ago. This is what she's been reduced to ever since she lost her fortune, her house, and her family. <laughs> what a shame. Guess you never know when you're gonna lose everything in life. Hey! We're done over here! You guys search the North District! Roger! The sun should be rising soon. But why is the sky so ominous? And the rumbling? What's happening to this town? Nelvi! Nelvi, come on! We gotta hurry! Huh? The lock's broken. A nun wouldn't have done this. Did someone break in? La 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 That sounded like Madame Drone. Luca, wait here. I'll go upstairs and take a look. The the doorknob is twisted off. La 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 <laughs> Next What the hell is going on? Let's 
Take off your arm next. <laughs> dolly, Dolly. <laughs> big, big Dolly. <laughs> Still alive, even like this. Uh, uh, amazing. Uh, uh, I want to tear you apart. I want to eat you up. Gobble you right up again. I want to hear you scream again. Yeah. Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dark. know how to use a sword drop your weapon now very well I'm not strong enough to use this anyway 
There's only one weapon light enough for me to wield. Good. Now don't try anything stupid! Don't stab him! Here, Madam Jonia! Over here! Dronia! Take care of Luca for me! out of breath. Nemto? Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Did the witch mind control him or something? Hey, get back here! to rest a bit. Then we can find Neldo, look for the key, and... <laughs> Welcome, Dronia. You look awful. Trying to ambush us, Funa. <laughs> Don't try to act all tough, Dronia. I can tell you're practically hemorrhaging mana. You may have escaped the soldiers, but it doesn't change your predicament. Have you forgotten? We have this town surrounded. Now, Lady Luca, as I said before, we no longer need this Dronia puppet. So I ask that you undo the contract. If you refuse, well, then it might be amusing to see what happens if that craftsman's boy gets taken. Fritz? Again? Funa, you... Or, I could let that Juliet bitch get taken instead of... Sh uh? If you keep bullying Madame Junior and everyone else, I... I won't forgive you! I won't! <laughs> what are you saying? I mean it! I really, really mean it! Yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? I swear by my title is so witch that I'll... That I'll dismiss you, Funa! <laughs> Lady Luca, if you do that... Madame Baba will punish you terribly. I don't care if Madame Baba kills me, so you better leave Madame Droni alone. Fine. I'll stop, I'll stop. Guess you live to see another day, Tronia. Fiona, what are you? Why are you so loyal to Baba? Huh. Ignorant as ever, I see. But since I'm feeling nice, I'll educate your foolish mom. The true purpose of the witches produced by the Ruler Magic Academy is to find the labyrinth that contains the key. What? But, there are many labyrinths like the one beneath Refrain all over the world. And the keys that we are after, nobody knows where they are either. 
so we gain positions within governments around the world, gather intelligence about local labyrinths, and explore them. I assume Balmya knew that as well. Huh? But all you've done so far is just follow us around. Yes, well, my mission was to observe Lady Luca and her Dronia puppet for any irregularity. I see. So you've been watching us from the start. Yes. I work so hard to beat out the competition at the Academy, just to end up an observer. So frustrating. Ah, but I also learned a great deal by observing the unclean ones that roam this town. And now, I know how to do something very interesting. What if I told you I knew how to take a person's fate and scatter it like dust in the wind? You figured out how to make the Unclean Ones get rid of anyone who got too close to us. Really? Fritz, did you really use the Unclean Ones, Fiona? <laughs> That's right. I was so bored. So dreadfully. <laughs> day after day, all by myself, doing nothing but observing. While you both were out having fun with this town's vermin, all I could do was watch like a useless idiot. I just wanted to have fun. That's why I played with them. Oh, you played with bugs before, right, Lady Luca? You know how fun it is to rip off their legs and wings? What I did is the exact same thing. No, it's not. I've never done that. These humans aren't bugs. They're totally different. Huh? What are you talking about, Lady Luca? Humans are vermin in the eyes of a witch. Just stop, please! Hearing you talk like this makes me want to cry! I understand. I won't say any more, then. Unfortunately, I don't stand a chance against you. So I'll let the other witches take care of Dronia's disposal. However, please don't forget that you are surrounded by enemies and have nowhere to run. If you'll excuse me, I shall take my leave. Goodbye, Dronia. I doubt we'll ever see each other again. Now I just need my new orders from Madam Baba Yaga. <laughs> you think Baba is still alive, Fiona? I got rid of her days ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you trying to trick me? you stab her? Isn't she your enemy? Besides, I saw this exact same witch on top of the vault surrounding this town. You mean... another Funa puppet? I knew it! Madame Drunia! Maybe the other witches never came. Maybe they're all Funa puppets. But I don't think those other puppets will come after us. Why is that? Those other Funa puppets should already know that I defied Madame Baba. And now they all know they can't beat me either. Fiona Poppet, then I'm... I'm also a Poppet, Luca. <laughs> I guess even bad memories can still evoke nostalgia. I can't believe Baba sent a summons for me to come all this way. If she thinks it's a short trip from the kingdom to here, then she has no idea what it's like to be a court wit. Still, why did she say I have to visit Isara Nep? And, and what the hell am I even supposed to say to her? Madame Vilnia! <coughs> you actually came! <sighs> This asshole. Step aside. I didn't come to visit you. <laughs> Still as blunt as ever. Once I see Isara, I'll be on my way. Papa! Isara's daughter? 
She doesn't even look like her. She looks like her father. Didn't I tell you to wait inside, Luca? Oh, I'm sorry, Papa. But, but... Now, Madame Belnia, about my wife, she's not yours. She was never yours. You took her from me. You both did. She has passed away. What? Her health took a turn for the worse after Luca was born. But she wrote to you every day, up until one year ago. <gasps> one year ago? Madame Velnia! Isara. Isara is... dead? She's been dead for a year? Isara is dead. Because of you. You did this to her. Pardon me, Duskwitch Felmia. Yes? A letter has arrived for you. Thank you. The letter said you were really sick. <laughs> this has been a waste of my time. I'm leaving. But I am very sick. I don't have much time left. When... when I die... Please take care of Luca. I, I can't leave her with Baba Yaga. What? How dare you ask that of me? I don't know what Isara told you about me, but I'm not that kind of person! <coughs> and... one other request. Are you listening to me? Did you really make me come all this way just to receive your last will and testament? I'm under no obligation to listen to anything you have to say. <coughs> Does that mean you know how to cast spells known only to her? Hmm. Depends on the spell. Then, please hear my request. I can do that, but you'll lose all your memories in the process. While there is a spell that can transfer memories, it is beyond the grasp of most witches. Even I'm not skilled enough to wield that kind of magic. Mm, that's fine. I just want to stay by Luca's side for as long as I can. Until she can be of use to you someday, it's... What Isara would want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so afraid to die. I can say I'm doing this for my wife and daughter. But I'm just weak. Hmm. Crying won't move me. I'm under no obligation to help you, remember? Your wife was right about you. She told me. If Mama could do it, then I can do it too! I can! I can! Just watch, Auntie Velnia! I'll make the jump! W wait! Don't jump! It's too far for you!
Your papa is dead too. You will bear the burden of this sin for the rest of your life alone. Worry not, child. There is one path available to you. You must awaken your power as a witch. Becoming a witch would normally require years of training. But you have inherited the great power of the soul witch from your mother. Key, use the You wish to see your precious auntie again, man? Then you must put her soul into this doll, or be alone forever. Do I sense hesitation? You are of Isara's blood. Binding Velnia's soul to this doll should be a trivial task for you. Oh. But she will need a new name. Velnia simply will not do. How about Dusk Witch? Drone. A fitting name for one caught in the twilight of life and death. <laughs> so. Yes. I see. <laughs> so, I'm just another doll. No different from the puppet soldiers, eh? I think Tracti would appreciate the irony. Luca, am I like Funa? Are there other Dronia puppets besides me? No, Madame Dronia. You're the only one. Mama's doll was the only one that worked. I'm sorry, Madame Dronia. I'm a bad kid. I'm a bad kid. <laughs> Luca, look at me. It's okay. I was dead long before the fall that took my life. But as long as I'm alive... No. As long as I can move, I still have a chance. Now, Luca, can you give me some of your magic? Just enough to keep me moving. Were you infusing me with magic every night while I was asleep? Yeah, but some nights I couldn't. And then the next day, you look really sick. Oh. I see. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. All because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Luca. What's done, is done. Madame Duranya, that witch was holding this. The, the key? <laughs> so she had it all along. I didn't expect Baba to be so trusting. But now, we just need one more. We can still do it, Luca. With two keys, we can probably conduct the ritual, but... I don't know what might happen. We'll just have to trust Tracti. Let's head back to the caravan. You want to go back? No. We need to go back. This is our final gamble. I knew it. A soldier's standing guard. Luca! You're all right. I am so relieved. <laughs> You're a hard one to kill. <laughs> right back at you. If the soldiers find us here, we're done for. There'll be no escape. But with the unclean ones roaming the streets, there aren't that many soldiers. We have until sunrise, if we're lucky. You understand, right, Tracti? Find the third key. If you can't, though, we'll... Just proceed with the two we have. The last key might be in Campanula. 
In hindsight, all the places we thought had keys turned out to be dead ends. Call it a witch's intuition, but my money's on Campanula. We'll wait for you to find it as long as we can. I have faith in you, Tracti. Good luck. <laughs>